Thank you. Corey brought it home. Um, we'll just take one or two brief questions uh, with respect to, to the topic at hand. Uh, I'll start here. Hi, um, just a really quick question. What are top congressional leaders like Schumer, Jeffries, are they signing on to this bill you're proposing or letter just kind of asking Biden to reverse it? Yeah, so this is something that uh, the, the letter I believe is, um, I'm not sure if it's closed to signatories yet, it, it just closed, uh, but this is something that we've been in active conversation with with Democratic leadership. And I also want to add that this goes beyond just congressional leadership. We have governors in states across, across the country, including here in New York with uh, Governor Kathy Hochul saying expand these legal pathways, uh, make it easier for these folks to get work authorizations. Here in New York, we are ready to put people to work. We just need the administration to help us expand those pathways to let them do that. We we can do this and we can do this together. You know, I think there's a couple of things. There's there's the regulatory issues that we have, and there's statutory issues. Right now, there are regulatory uh, there are regulatory regimes in place that extend these backlogs and make them longer than necessary. These 180 day wait periods, for example. But also, when we look at our work here in Congress, we devote so many resources to places in DA, in DHS. Uh, that are very focused on enforcement and not enough resources in places like USCIS to ensure that we can uh, process these backlogs. So there's things that we can do here, and I believe that there's regulatory changes. And one last question. Is there anything that Congress can do to force the administration's hand on this? And I think Corey Bush and Congressman Bush's point on this, uh, those Republican-led lawsuits in 20 plus states now, are you worried that your positions are going to make it really hard for that administration to compromise or win on this? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, sorry, your first, and your, let me start with your first question. And your first question was, could you repeat that? If Congress can do anything to force the administration. Well, you know, I think there's a couple of things. We have some wonderful new members uh, of, of the House that may be joining the Oversight Committee with Representative Kassad, as well as uh, Cori Bush's excellent work, Yvette Clark's excellent work in oversight uh, in, in, through the process of sending letters uh, to the administration. I think that one of the things that we can do, whether it's the Trump administration or the Biden administration conducting very strong oversight of the conduct of DHS, there still is a lot of outstanding questions that they have to answer. Pa Congress does have the power of the purse. Um, and while Republicans have control, uh, have the majority right now, we also have a Senate majority, uh, Democrats have a Senate majority, and I believe that we can be using uh, our allocation of resources to not just push back against the administration, but to open these paths to citizenship and, and make it easier to process. Thank you. Thank you.